But when you know, I've talked to a lot of, of you say, specialists in the electromagnetic fields, and you know they all keep saying when we when we get into this topic, oh, it won't heat your brain and won't. But it's it's like you know they're talking in a, another world. It's like that they don't have the full picture of what is really going on. I wouldn't say they don't have the full picture. I would say they're not, allowed to say, they they are not, not say. allowed to say because yeah. they know that they lose their funding and their yeah. job and yeah. they can be killed yeah. at the worst. Or then they get a heart attack anyway and they get sick, they get cancer. Because killing today is not with the boom boom, you know, with a, except for presidents and prime ministers because they want to demonstrate. It is by causing cancer, yeah. a tumor, you become deaf and you become blind and whatever. But and that is say. normal. That is normal, you know. Say. What? We cannot just be silent, you know, we, we have to go out because, you know... I, I feel uh, absolutely people who know they have to, but if you are a scientist and you depend, you know, your job it depends on that, and then you can never get another job, I can understand they are bound by, because when they went into the field they had to already, like in the military, say that they have, uh, they, 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 they have the code of silence, they are not allowed to talk. Yeah. But then they are going against their own people, and that I don't understand. Science is nothing no. if it goes against your own people. No, exactly. I mean, what? why are we here? What is the meaning of human beings' lives? Yeah. It's spiritually to evolve all of us. Exactly. Even the, the poorest uh, man in, in Africa or child dying in Asia, we should help them instead of eliminating them. It, it's For, for money and power and whatever, I, I, I just, it doesn't yeah. go into my brain. No, but it's like, you know, I, I've been observing this, I like observing people, and, and since I changed, you know, I was awoken, like in the morning, and something about a mobile mask almost between my legs in the bed, you know, it was just put up, and, and since that day, you know, the material world, or the so-called material, physical world, is secondary. The purpose, my sole purpose, and what I feel gives me is number one. And what I see with people is that they have become so, in general, disconnected. So they try to hold on to the physical world because they have lost contact to the primary world. And this is very sad because when you meet people and you can really, you know, when you get aligned with your soul, you see into other people's soul. You, you see their potential without them even knowing that. And that could be tricky because you see how much they, they can do, but they are not connected to that. And that, that's the tricky part, I think, it's that they, 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 their soul has been suppressed, so they are just stuck with material things, bigger houses, bigger cars, holidays all the time, and eating, drinking, and what I call mediocre sex. Because when you're not have your soul with it, where's the love? The real love. It's a pseudo life, you can say. Well, I think we should be all striving towards the universal love, and that is love for everybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female or dolphin or your cat or whatever, if it's a child dying in Africa or, or whatever, or even the elite person who is doing bad things towards you. Yeah. But of course, before we can get to that stage, it takes an awful lot. And to forgive is one of our lessons. Our lessons in lives are very, very different from what we think that are important. Yeah. Uh, I know my, my lesson is to forgive because they've done awful things to my family. But uh, maybe it's possible that I'll just stay in the class. I, I don't pass the, the exam. But if I evolve, then I will forgive them. Yeah. Uh, that's very difficult in, 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 in sometimes uh, with, with the fates that people have. When you think of wars and you think of all the bad things that they're yeah. planning for yeah. to eliminate the whole, you yeah. know, two-thirds of world population. Yeah. But those doing it, that is the worst. They think that they're doing something good. Yeah. It's like the military doing this is for national security, you know. Yeah. For them it's the Bible, yeah. you know, national security. You yeah. just say that and you can do anything. You can eliminate people, you can yeah. torture them, you can yeah. rape children. Yeah. National security. Now that's, that's just stupidity. But if a pilot, you know, dropping a bomb in Iraq, Afghanistan or anywhere, if he knew, but he's of course mind controlled, but if, if he or she knows, you know, when they press the button and the bomb goes off, if they knew what they were seeding for their own lessons later on, they would just park the plane and probably explode the plane, plane with the bomb so it will not be used anymore because if they could see what they are seeing, they would be terrified. Yeah, but in the military, 
yeah, yeah. And yeah. in science, again, I repeat, yeah. they are never taught what it is to be a human being. Yeah. You can't kill a human being. You can kill their bodies. You yeah. can kill their houses. Yeah. And with electronic warfare going on now, today, all over the Western world, against civilian population, they are experimenting and making them sick, making them die, with psychological warfare, surveillance of your neighbors and whatever. And of yeah. course they say, oh, paranoia. No, it isn't. It's all according to the paragraphs, how you're supposed to do certain things. Yeah. And then uh, chemical warfare. And that is, of course, done with chemtrails, which are terrible. But the history of the US, for instance, shows that already in the 50s, airplanes in San Francisco and elsewhere, they were throwing viruses and bacteria to cause people to be sick and die. Can you imagine? Already in the 50s. Now it's coming out. Now even anybody can see chemical trails. They are, you know, um, planes that um, show X, for instance, at, yeah. the, at, the, at the sky, expendables. My house has, has many expendable signs. And, and uh, they have uh, viruses there if they yeah. want, they have bacteria there if they want, but yeah. normally in chemtrails they have uh, aluminium, titanium, barium and magnesium in powder form. And when you breathe it in, you become sick maybe with, with asthma, with bronchitis, yeah. but you also become implanted with a microchip. And when you have metal in your body, even if it's amalgam in your teeth, which is about 50% at least uh, uh, mercury, so then the beaming towards you with electronic warfare experimentation is much easier. Yeah. And that's why they want you to have amalgam and they, they want you to have um, uh, all kinds of metal yeah. things yeah. inside your body. Yeah. And people know nothing about it. And then they say, oh, this is paranoia, you know, come on. My government, my military is there, my police is there to protect me. That used to be maybe a hundred years ago. But yeah. anyway, today they are experimenting. And the experimentations are deadly, and they're very, very bad. Yeah. Now, we have to know that not always everybody, 100%, is subject to experimentation. But with the chemtrails, anybody who happens to be in that area where the aeroplanes, and they're not only military, they also use passenger planes to, to spread the, the, the things into the air. So, of course, everybody will be affected. And with electronic warfare, absolutely anybody going on the streets where they change the frequencies of the lamps. Yeah. It's electronic warfare. And in medical schools they teach you that if somebody says that, oh, there are beams coming towards me, you're, you're schizophrenic or whatever. Yeah. Medical schools do not teach the future doctors what the truth is. Yeah. They have to find it out later in their own life and in their, with their own uh, dealing with the patients. Hey, no,